Let me show you how to create animated rotating text in Adobe InDesign. Follow along in this tutorial and learn how to use Type on a Path to display text around a shape and work with the Object Layer Options feature to apply the animation around a main subject in the project. So let's jump right in and start creating. I've opened the template that's included in the lesson folder. It's called rotationexercise.indd. Go ahead and open that. It's a one by one page size. And the first thing we want to do is add the main image to the project. So I'm going to go up to file and place. I have two PSD files here that you could choose from. I'm going to choose the first one. It's called business portrait. And I'll explain a little later why we're using PSD files. So choose the one that you want and click open. Here it is in my loaded cursor. I'm gonna click in the upper left hand corner and while holding shift, you can drag the frame all the way to the bottom right hand corner. Go ahead and release. Now with the frame still selected, let's click on the fill frame proportionally icon in your control panel. This is located in the upper right hand corner. Click that to fill the frame proportionally. I've also included a logo for this project. So let's bring that in next, click away and then go up to file and choose place once again. And here it is, Conacher underscore logo dot PNG. Click that and then click open. Here it is in my loaded cursor. Let's place it in the upper left hand corner. Click, drag the size you want and release. That looks pretty good there. I also want to add a learn more button to this digital ad. So I'm going to click on the type tool and drag a text frame from one edge of the page to the other and just release. And in all capitals, let's type in learn more. Let's go ahead and center that command A and then shift command C to align it to the center. Of course, you could still use your alignment tools up here in the control panel. Let's choose another font. I want this to be Gibson. So let's just type in Gibson and let's make it semi bold. And the point size here will be 44. I'm gonna change the color to white and let's click on the selection tool and while holding Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, double click the frame to go into the text frame options. Under the Align drop down, let's choose Center. And if I move this off to the side and click my preview box here, you can see the text will center to the frame. Go ahead and click OK. And now let's make this frame, let's give it a blue fill. I'm just going to decrease the depth of that and then just drag it to the very bottom of the page. This will be our learn more button. I'm gonna increase the depth just a little bit more. Something like 90 pixels is fine. Let's click away and move on. Let's now focus our attention on creating a path for the rotating text in the project. Let's create the path for our text. For this, we'll be using the ellipse frame tool. You can see I already have mine activated. If you're not seeing it, click and hold. It's probably defaulted on rectangle frame tool. Go ahead and choose ellipse frame tool. On the page while holding shift, drag out the frame, the ellipse shape and release. Then let's position it right in the center of the page, just like that. And I wanna make the width and height of this 680. Let's also temporarily give this a stroke so we could see the path. And you can see I have the stroke selected in my swatches panel and I'll give it that vibrant blue color so I can see the path as I'm adding the text. So we have our first frame and now we can add the text to it. Let's click and hold the type tool and choose type on a path. If you hover over the path, you could see a little plus icon once it detects the path. So go ahead and click it and you can see now we have a blinking cursor and if I zoom in, you can see it there and I'll type in enhance skills. I'm gonna zoom back out, command A to select all and the font I want for this, which is also included in the lesson folder is called Canela. This will be Canela bold. Also make sure that the text is all in capitals. And again, let's make it white and the point size will be 82. There, now you can see it a little bit better. Another rule of thumb, what I like to do is center this, so shift command C. Now it's not centered to the frame yet. You'll need to adjust the handles on the frame to align the text. So let's click on the selection tool again. And if you zoom in, you'll see a small handle. Here it is here, it's very small, so you have to zoom in to, to see it. I'm gonna zoom back out because I do see mine. 
and I'm going to just rotate the text. Make sure that you're staying on the outside of the frame. If you go in the inside, the text will be placed inside the ellipse and we don't want that. So let's do right in the center, just like that. Next, let's select the text and go up to type and then type on a path and choose options. The effect will be rainbow. We want the align to be a sender. Don't worry about the spacing just yet. We'll fix that once we finalize the type on the path options. So let's keep the spacing to zero for now. And the two path will also be left on center and click OK. Now I like to fix the kerning and tracking after I finalize the type on a path. So I'm going to hold option that would be alt on windows and press your right arrow key to adjust the tracking. So let's make it something like 100 is good. And then if you want to adjust the kerning, for example, the E and the N here in enhance, place your cursor in between and do the same thing. Option, Alt on Windows, and press your right arrow key to open that up. And you'll just have to adjust this according to how your text is. So here's another example. H and A are, are touching, so I'm gonna hold Option and then right arrow key to open that up. Maybe open up the two L's here in Skills. And of course, just use your own judgment as you're doing this. I'm gonna press Command-0 to go pack back into Fit and View. And now let's create the bottom text. I'm gonna click on my Selection Tool. And with the frame still selected, let's go to Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste in Place. So we have two versions now and they're on top of one another. I'm gonna hover over the top version. And while holding Shift, I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees so it'll look something like this. Now, of course, the text is in the opposite direction and it's also upside down, so we're going to fix that right now. Let's select it and let's go back to type and then type on a path, options. And instead of align ascender, we're gonna choose align descender. We're also going to flip this text. You see this option here, flip, we have also flipped it, so now it's reading in the proper direction. Everything else is fine. Click OK. We're just going to change this text to choose your MBA, because this is a school of business. Again, just go into the areas, the problematic areas, and clean that up. So between the M and the B, the U and the R, again, I'm just holding Option. That would be Alt on Windows and your right arrow key. And you could do that up here as well on your control panel. You can see it's positive 20. So if I increase this, you could do it in increments of 10. When I'm using the option and right arrow key, it's doing it in increments of 20. So if you don't want to go by 20, you can just control it manually here and choose the kerning of your choice. So that's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to click away. And another thing I'd like to do is go into my layers panel and name these text paths because right now they're just named circle and circle and obviously when you're working that could be a little confusing so the top circle here let's call this one choose your mba you can call this whatever you want it's mainly to help you as you're setting up the rotation animation later on choose your mba good and this one will be enhance skills just like that, perfect. Next, let's lock the Business Portrait PSD layer and select both the frames. Let's go back to the Swatches panel and remove the stroke from both of those shapes. Let's go ahead and open the Animation panel to add our animation. I already have mine open here. Let me just tear it off and place it next to the workspace. And if you don't have animation, just go up to Window, Interactive, and choose Animation. Now I have both of them selected. I'm going to choose a preset to add to both, and it'll be rotate at 180 degrees clockwise. Go ahead and select that. The event will be on page load. The duration, let's set that to 30 seconds, and let's choose loop. So make sure you have that selected so it just keeps looping. The speed will be set to none. We don't want any type of ease in or ease out or anything from a preset. We just want this to be a steady rotation that loops into infinity. Under the properties drop down under animate, let's choose to current location. 
And then under the rotate here, let's type in 360 degrees, press tab. Now, if we test this out in our EPUB preview window, you could do that by clicking this icon in the bottom left-hand corner. That'll launch the window and you'll see that the animation will begin with enhanced skills rotating first. What'll happen here is it'll rotate for 30 seconds and then choose your MBA will follow that for another 30 second animation. And obviously that's not what we want here. We want these to play together in unison. So I still have them selected and I'm gonna to go to my timing panel now. You can see that I also have that docked here. You can access it the same way, window, interactive, timing. And you can see both of them listed here, enhance skills and choose your MBA. Let me just group this with animation here so you can see it better. So I'm gonna click on enhance skills hold shift and click on choose your MBA. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we have the option to play these together. And you can see those are now bracketed. They're grouped together. You also have the option of clicking enhance skills and maybe giving it a one second delay. That means that when this loads on page load, the viewer will have a little bit of time to capture the beginning of the animation. That's optional. If you wanna leave it to zero, that's fine too. Now, if I test this out in the EPUB preview window, you'll see that they'll both play together after one second. You saw the little delay there, but you can see that those play together. So that's working as intended and it's looking great. Next, let's take a look at how to use object layer options to play the animation behind the subject. But first, let's jump over to Photoshop so I can show you the layers in the PSD document. Here's the PSD file we have placed in our InDesign document. Now to get a better sense of how the layers work in this PSD document, when we're using the object layer options in InDesign shortly, let's have a look at the layers here in Photoshop. So this particular PSD has a color fill. It has a background image, which is basically the original image of the woman with the white clean background. And we have the main subject cut out with the background removed. So we have the cutout, the color fill, and the background. Great. Now that you have a better understanding of those three layers, let's jump back to InDesign. Back in InDesign now, and we're gonna create a copy of the PSD file and paste it in the foreground. Let's go to our layers panel and unlock the business portrait.psd. Click on it once, right click and copy. Right click again and paste in place. Now you can see the versions at the very top and it's covering all the other content. And we'll use the object layer options to remove the background on the top layer so we can animate the text behind it. Again, right click and let's go to object layer options. Let's move this off to the side a little bit. And you can see those are the three layers that we just went over in Photoshop. First, let's hide the background and then hide the color fill. And you can see now the image of the cutout is at the very top. Go ahead and click OK. And we're just gonna have to move the business portrait top version in between choose your MBA and enhance skills. And let's ensure that the learn more button is at the very top as well. So now if I go back to my animation panel and preview this in the EPUB preview window, you could see that the text is now animating behind the subject. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create animated rotating text in Adobe InDesign. If you'd like to learn more about interactive design and animation using Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.